Sometimes it just goes right, and that was a stunning run. The South Somerset Ferreters at their best. Uh, we're in a nursing home today, Charlie, in a garden of a nursing home, as you can see behind me. Um, and what they're planning on doing, they've had rabbits here for years, and they've never really minded them. You know, got a cricket pitch there as well. But they're planning on putting a big vegetable garden there to help feed the residents get fresh organic food, like, you know. And um, obviously they can't have rabbits. Uh, they don't want to go through all the expense of fencing it off. Um, so yeah, they're, they're a nuisance for the cricket pitch as well. So the rabbits, sadly, have got to go, you know. Well, not that sadly. Well, not that sadly, not for us, but sadly for the rabbits. <laughs> yeah, so we just come here today. I mean, I've done quite a bit of work on the nursing home. That's how I got to know the people here. And, well, I'm a carpenter, builder. We didn't ferret last Sunday because of the rain, so we came down and had a bit of a recce. And just up there, we probably saw sort of, I don't know, a good dozen, I expect. Um, also, the banks are real brambly, so we spent a few hours last Sunday clearing brambles just so we can get in a bit, you know, because uh, what we didn't want to do is come here and all of a sudden be tackled with big bramble bushes. So. We didn't bring many dogs today because Jason, who's the caretaker here, He's got his chickens uh, and he didn't want too many dogs running around his chickens, which is fair enough. So the dogs we have got, they're, they're stock friendly. So. Yeah, but he just didn't want too many dogs. So when he bought the two today, so hopefully a stress-free, quiet day, you know. <laughs> There's steady action as the ferreters work all the way along the bank. Rabbit. We get spectators too. We don't go near the old people's home because of the coronavirus pandemic currently underway. They come out to enjoy what's going on. Now it's a day for ferreting kit. New kit and one vital item that's been discontinued. The much-loved Deben Ferret Finder is now the highly prized Deben Ferret Finder, if you can find one, as Deben no longer sells it. Getting hold of new collars is near on impossible. I managed, managed to get a couple back about two months ago, and since then I think they're pretty much non-existent, unless you can buy them second hand, and then the price has gone up. A ridiculous amount, but no, we're sort of stuck at the moment. They're, they've stopped making them, they repair them still if anything goes wrong, but I don't know of any other company that does anything that's at all similar. Anyone who can help out with suggestions, please leave a comment below. Now, on the new kit front, Jaff is trying out a new net and net carrier. We've got a lovely, lovely new uh, net. Yeah, look at that. I mean, as far as the nets go, it's, it's, can I say it's net porn? Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> um, now, we got it sent from a chap called Les Nelson. Um, I contacted him and he was great, you know, nice enough to send us a nice new net to try out for him. Um, if you check him out on Facebook, it's uh, Nelson's Net Loft. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better better way of stacking a long net, really. This is it's a, a full Z net, like a basic long net. But I just love the way it all packs in, like, you know. We've got two different nets in here. We've got a 50 yarder, and we've got like 10 or 10 or 20 yard in the front as well. So it holds two different nets. So I might get a few of these baskets for my older nets, because mine are quite embarrassing, really. <laughs> and there's a link to Nelson's net loft in the description below. Oh my goodness!
Most of the action takes place in the hedgerow itself. So what the rabbits doing? they're just running through the, the runs. We set run nets up. Some have caught, some have gone. It's just so difficult, you know. Yeah. I mean, thick bramble banks. Just a ferreter's nightmare. Well, then again, you got a few out of it, haven't you? Yeah, we've done all right. I mean, we've still got a bit more to do. We've stuck to the white ferrets today. Or uh, well, lighter coloured ones anyway, so it just makes it a lot easier. These big thick bramble banks, you want to be able to see them, see? You know, you think they're uh, a dark ferret, you ain't going to see it in a thick bramble bush. So. One ferret holds up and Jaff digs it out. He pulls out the ferret and then not one, but two rabbits. They're two out of one, because what they do, a ferret will ch chase a rabbit into a stop end underground. Something like that when we had two, so we had one dig, two rabbits, which is a bit of a bonus. So. All this work in the bank means Nelson's net doesn't get a proper test today. Sadly, we haven't actually caught one in Les's yet. I'm sure we will. I mean, you can see how much of a nice net it is. Loads of bagging in the netting, which a rabbit will get tangled up easily. Um, but yeah, really, really nice long net. As ferreting goes, it's been hard work, you know. Give us nice open moorland. That's what we want. Don't go down. No. <laughs> The result? 18 rabbits. You can find out more about the South Somerset ferreters on their YouTube channel and see Jaff's own version of this film, shot by his daughter M, with drone operator her boyfriend Murray. Thanks to the South Somerset OB team. Links to that film in the description below. Years left in these trousers yet? Years.